doing? What are you doing? Huh? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Where's Kennedy at? Oh, what's up? <laughs> Bring one of the lights. I want to show them. So, uh, it's Saturday. Kennedy and I, I'll be here on Christmas, but she'll be in Lubbock with her family. Um, I've got to watch the house since Kevin's in the Bahamas. And uh, so I won't be able to go to Lubbock to hang out with her. So we're hanging out this weekend. Look what she got me. She got me these really cool video lights. <laughs> she got me two of these. So actually one, or both of them, but one, at a, one can mount on the camera or they have these little brackets that mount onto my Ronin, which is my gimbal. So for some late night street racing in Mexico or um, cinematic shots, these will be really cool and it won't be as dark. And the quality will be a lot better in my video because I won't have to crank the ISO, which is the image sensitivity, which you have to crank it up when it's really dark out. So by utilizing these, you can get a lot better image at night. So I'm really excited to use those. Thanks, Kennedy. And she is currently doing some chalk paint on Kevin's kitchen. So that hutch was actually this ugly ass wood color before, and she's working on chalk paint in this. So she's sanding this, I guess, to make it a little bit smoother, and then she'll do another coat. But it's coming out pretty good. I think Kevin and Rachel really like that. And then they plan to paint the cabinets uh, white, I guess, right? White. Yeah. So Kennedy's working on that. This is what she's really good at, is chalk painting. That's what she likes to do. I am, there's the death trap machine if you saw the last video. Screw this vehicle, never riding in it ever again. <laughs> Um, I am working on the tail lights, so I've already got them pulled out, but let me show you in the sun. So I cleaned this one off. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm really happy with how the color came out. So let's change the settings real quick. So I'm really happy with how the smoke came out. It's got a nice color to it, but if you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but this stuff, it's a little tacky even though when it dries. I mean, it's not really tacky. It's more of got a rough feel to it. And that's a clean one. And what I want to show you is when they're dirty, because of the material that it is when you spray tint. If you didn't know, I spray tinted these. And that material, look how dirty this is. And the dust just like really attracts to it. When you wipe it, see it stays on there. Like you really got to get these super wet to get them clean. So two things I'm going to do today. And one of you guys, I forgot who it was, but someone commented on my last video on tinting these, how to fix them. So you take 2,000 grit sandpaper. So let's grab that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some 2,000 grit wet sandpaper. We're going to wet sand these to get them to a nice, real smooth finish. And the 2,000 is so soft that it won't actually take off the tint, or we hope. That's what one of you guys told me. We're about to find out. Hopefully you weren't playing a joke on me. Um, but that will remove the little tacky feeling and the roughness. And then we'll clear coat them. And then it should repel dust a little better. Because there's no clear coat. It's just the straight spray tint, I think, is what makes it um, attract dust. And it'll clean up some of this roughness from the spray tint. So look at this dirty one, though. I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera. But it really attracts dust. And that's with any kind of paint when there's no clear coat. Um, it really attracts dust and then to get the dust off like so you can't just wipe it off It just moves it around um, So it's really hard to clean actually and then I'm also going to take Some goof off with a q-tip and try and get these reverse lights out because um, During the day it's fine, but at night These lights are so bright because they're LEDs it really helps the reverse camera and the reverse camera on these trucks is super nice So it actually it doesn't affect it too much But I like how bright the reverse camera is on these and I do want to have this extra light to help it So we're gonna take a q-tip with some goof off or some brake cleaner and try and go real We'll probably tape off so we don't get any dripping on the rest of the taillight But hopefully we'll be able to remove some of the smoke on the reverse And we'll have that back. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these up and then um, we'll first start trying to remove the tint off the reverse. So I've got these taped off real ghetto-like, <laughs> but it does the job. And like I so said, the reason why I'm doing it is because I just don't want anything to drip onto the rest of the lens. 
uh, because then we'll have to redo the entire lens, which I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try a Q-tip with some goof off first. And you could take a rag, but I want to take a Q-tip to the edge to try and get a nice clean edge. And then we can take a rag to this middle part. Let's see. It's got like that weird tacky feeling. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've ever tinted uh, lights before with the spray tint. So we'll do that. We'll try some goof off if that doesn't work. I've heard a uh, brake cleaner also works, so we'll try that next. But let's grab some goof off. If you don't want to make a mess, I poured goof off into that little center cap of this extra paint can cap I had. That way you don't make a mess. And then you can just dip the little Q-tip in there. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I'm just going to take this, rub it real nice and lightly, and it's taken off the tint pretty easily. Look at that. So, and that's why I wanted to use a Q-tip, because it won't get anywhere else. I can kind of control where it's all going because like I said obviously this stuff takes it off real easily so if this stuff was dripping everywhere it would definitely start pulling the rest of the lens off and I don't want to do that because I don't want to have to redo this whole thing so this is probably the best way to do it is just take a q-tip kind of work the edges however much you want to get off or however far over you want to go and I would stay real clear of the edges to the actual light because it seems like this pulls it off pretty easily which is good though so then we'll get a wet rag and we'll kind of wipe up that goof off and see how it looks all right so i took a little bit more on a q-tip and went real uh slow around the edges just to make sure um we don't get any on the outside but i wanted to clean up a little bit of the edges so there's after and this is what it looks like tinted and like i said you could you could really stay away from this by just taping up the reverse light, which I would recommend now. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like um, with the reverse light spray painted, but I would not do it because it does make your camera a little bit darker and because your rear view camera utilizes the reverse lights, it helps light it up at night. So if you did end up spraying yours like I did, just take some goof off, where is it? Take some goof off and a Q-tip and tape this off so you don't let it bleed around and then just go real slow and take your time so now we'll do it to the other light so let's get that one cleaned up All right, so that's what they look like with the reverse lights cleaned up. So as you can see, let's see if I can show you. See all these like streaks and marks? So even when you clean them, they just don't clean that well because they're not a smooth, um, clear coated surface. So that's why we're gonna sand them with some 2000 grit sandpaper, try and get them super slick and smooth, and then we'll clear cut them because you can see all these marks everywhere from wiping them down because it just drags the dirt because it's not a smooth surface. So we've got some water in our Toon Totem cup. I'm gonna grab this 2000 grit sandpaper here and we're just gonna sand real lightly. Uh, but this shouldn't take anything off because it is 2000 grit. But you still wanna make sure you go nice and slow, nice smooth, overlapping. Don't go too crazy with it because you don't wanna start knocking off uh, the tint. All right, so these look like absolute shit right now, but that's because the sandpaper is trying to smooth them out. Plus, uh, let's see if I can find a spot. You can notice, I guess it's hard to see on camera, but you can see spots where the tint wasn't probably laid as even because the sandpaper took it off a little bit. So I'm actually gonna add one coat to this and I probably won't film it because I've done another video on it, but I'm gonna spray one coat and then we'll do 
the clear coat. So we'll try and spray this next coat on real nice and even, and we'll probably tape off, tape off that so we don't have to deal with that again, and then we should be good to go. I just sprayed another coat of the VHT Nightshade on there. So after this, we'll probably wet sand them one more time, and then we'll finally clear coat them. But the good thing is, we know that the goof off can take all that stuff off. So if you don't like how it turned out, just take goof off to the whole tail light, start over, or um, try wrapping them, or just get some blacked out tail lights. But this is if you want to uh, do the spray tint. I just wasn't happy with how it turned out. Plus, I really wanted to get the uh, spray tint off the reverse light. Um, and hopefully now the lights will be glossier and they'll be a lot easier to clean So I'll update you guys once we clear coat them while the tail lights are drying I'm actually gonna take off the 4x4 badge and I'm actually gonna take off the Laramie badge I may replace this with a black one because I do sell these in black and then I'm gonna end up actually taking off the Ram on the side and This one I'm actually gonna replace in black because it'll just leave an ugly hole you could plasti dip this um, but I think I'm actually gonna buy that one in black And then like I said need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the grill probably order a black one and then uh, These come in black also um, Those are my plastic dip because they'll be easier But I think these I'm gonna go ahead and spend the money and get the nice black ones um, And then we are gonna black these out with some vinyl eventually and need to figure out how I'm gonna do the bumpers But right now I'm gonna heat these up and then take some fishing line, take it behind there, and get the glue off. And there's a reason why I'm taking them off now, is because next week I've got something we're doing to the truck that I'm really excited about. You probably know what it is, um, but I'm taking the badges off to prepare for that, and they probably won't go back on. Like I said, the Laramie one might go back on with a black one, but for now we're gonna remove all the badges. Guys, yeah, so the badges are removed. I also, I had this badge coming in black. I was gonna plastic dip it, but actually when I was taking it off, the chrome piece separated really easily from the backing plate. So it actually has a plastic backing plate that has clips. And so you may want to push it from the inside actually, try and push these clips out. Uh, but when I was prying against it, it actually split the chrome from the backing plate. Which is totally fine because I'm going to buy a uh, black rebel head anyways. Which I planned on doing. I was going to plastic dip it first. but. I think the actual nice matte black one from Mopar looked good in there. Plus, it's only 30 bucks. So, if you're going to take this off, be careful. Don't be an idiot like me and separate them. Um, had the little Patriot sticker there. That's off now, too. The Laramie's gone, and then the 4x4 is gone. Tail lights are over here baking in the sun. Uh, once they were pretty dry, I decided to slide them over to the sun so I could bake in the sun for a little bit. They definitely look a hundred times better with clear coat. Um, I did have a few spots where that clear coat dripped a little bit. Can't really see right now because um, the glare. But other than that, I think the clear coat makes a huge difference. And probably my favorite part is that I took the tint off of the reverse lights. So once those are dry, we'll install them back on the ram and you can see what everything looks like back together. All right, guys, so there they are with the lights on. And definitely tell I messed up a couple spots this time, which kind of sucks because it looked good. <laughs> but they're definitely darker now. Um, one spot I really messed up on was the bottom here. Something I got on it and I tried to wipe it and totally ruined that. So I'll probably have to redo them here, but honestly it doesn't bother me that much. Like I said, just waiting for the black badge to come in. All the other badges are gone. And I also wrapped this chrome handle, which was kind of a pain. And actually, one of the mirrors, the freaking vinyl is coming up. So, I'll actually have to redo that mirror. And I think the reason why is because I stretched it too far over and got it too tight on the edges and not allowing enough, um, like it was pulled too tight on the edges. So, it started to, when it got hot out, it started to pull up a little bit. So, you got to make sure you leave enough room or enough on the edges so you can see <clears throat> on like this edge here. It's not pulled that tight, it's not stretched too far. Where me, because I don't do wraps all the time, I stretched it too far over and it just didn't have um, enough overlap. So I'll have to redo one of the mirrors, not too big a deal. But there's the lights, they're a little bit darker because I did one more coat. But the clear coat makes a huge difference. They're nice and glossy now. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> probably have to redo that one. Just sand it and do another coat, but they're definitely 
a lot darker now because I did another coat plus the clear coat. But I think the clear coat makes the biggest difference. So there's there's what it looks like from a little bit further away. And this one, you can't really tell the mess up that bad. So I'll redo them eventually again. But I definitely think you should sand them and clear coat them. I think that makes the biggest difference. Um, and I'm really happy, I can't show you the reverse light because I'm by myself, but I'm really happy that I took it off of the reverse lights. So now those be nice and bright like they were from the factory. So that's gonna conclude today's video. Let me know if you guys like it with the clear coat. I definitely need to fix the one spot on the other one, but I'm really happy with how the truck's starting to look. Even though the bumpers are still chrome, just the whole back end of the truck looks so much better with everything blacked out. So that's gonna conclude today's video. Make sure you guys always comment, like, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if you like it, and we'll see you guys on the next one.